tutorial is going to cover the bash rc. So a bash rc is a file that's used to configure what your command line is going to look like and how it behaves. It can involve special coloring of certain commands and even creating new commands for you to use. So every time you update a bash rc and save it, it won't automatically be applied to your terminal. You either have to exit your terminal and reopen it to see the changes or use the command source.bashrc to apply the changes that you've made. On a Mac, this file is called a .bash profile, and since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to be using .bash profile during this tutorial. So, as you can tell, this right here is my default terminal. It's white text on a black background. And there's no coloring associated with it, it's just this. If you want to in incorporate color into your terminal, you have to use special color codes that can be found at this URL. And the way that you would define a color would be color name, so red equals, and then this, this sequence of characters that denote its color code. So this 31 is the color code for red. This sequence right here helps identify it as a color code, that sort of thing. And then later in your, in your bash RC or bash profile, you would use it like dollar sign, open brace, red, close brace. And I have some colors that I'm going to go ahead and add to my bash profile. And the way that I'm going to do that is cat bash examples. And this bash examples folder, it, there's a zip of it in the description that you can, if you want to follow along, you can download it to your computer and unzip it inside of your root directory. So I'm going to do cat bash rc examples colors dot text and append it to my dot bash profile. So now if I look at my bash profile, these are some colors that I'm, that I'm going to be using later in, in this tutorial. Um, so reset normal, red, yellow, white, green, purple, and blue. And this blue is more of a scion color. So the PS1 is what your command prompt looks like. So this this part of your terminal. And there the way that it's set would be PS1 equals and then inside quotes whatever you want your command prompt to be. So some helpful helpful escape codes. Slash U is for username, which Here's an example, Megan Avery, that's the username for my computer. Slash H is the computer name, so Megan, Megan's MacBook Pro. Slash W is for working directory, and in this case, it's the tilde. And then slash N is a new line character, in case you want your command, your command prompt to be multiple lines. So I'm going to go ahead and append a basic PS1 onto my bash profile. So I'm going to do cat bash examples ps1.txt onto my bash profile. And like I said, editing it isn't enough. I have to do source.bash profile. So now you can see that my command prompt got updated. And this is what that command prompt is. Command prompt is. So it's purple. So everything after this is going to be colored purple. My username in my working directory, new line, open brace, and then this blue means that everything that's going to be typed after it will be blue. So as I type, it's blue. So alias is basically a way to create your own command by mapping a word or a symbol to another command. An example would be alias C equals clear, or alias RM equals RM dash I. And that is actually a really useful alias because it will ask you if you're sure every time you try to remove a file. So I'm going to go ahead and append those aliases onto my bash RC with cat bash example alias dot text bash profile. That's the wrong one dot bash profile 
and again I'll have to do source.bash profile to get it to apply. So now if I do C, that'll clear my command. And if I try to remove something like colors, my colors.txt file, it'll ask me if I'm sure. And if I say yes, the file will actually be deleted. So, and yes being a Y. And if I say no with an N, it won't delete it. So I'm going to do N because I want to keep that file. In order to get colored ls, which is a list of the files, um, the basic version of a terminal, all of the list would be the same color, making it hard to distinguish the different types of files versus directories. On a Linux, that would the way she would get colored ls, ls would be alias ls equals ls dash dash colored equals auto, and on a Mac, it's these two commands combined, one per line. So I'm going to go ahead and append those colors to my bash profile. So cat bash rc examples colored ls to my dot bash profile. And then I'm going to do source dot bash profile. And now my ls is colored. So in order to get colored grep, um, anytime I do grep normally, so I'm going to do a grep for the word alias, then bash profile.txt. I don't, not it's not highlighted, so it's harder to tell exactly where the matches are, but I want the word that I search for to be highlighted. And the way to do that is on a Linux, this this alias, and on a Mac, this alias. So I'm going to go ahead and add the Mac version of the alias to my bash profile. So I'm going to do that with cat bash examples colored grep dot bash profile, and then do a source of that bash profile so it gets applied. Now if I redo that grep, the word alias is highlighted everywhere, so it's easier for me to tell exactly where the match is. So man pages, by default, are just this white text, and some of the words are highlight some of the words are bolder, but still it's not great to look at. So if you want to get colored man pages, all you have to do is add these seven lines to your bash or to your bash RC or bash profile. And you can make edits to the color codes at the end of the lines that don't end in OM to get different colors on different parts of the page, which can be helpful if you decide you want your man pages to look even more custom. So I'm gonna go ahead and append those pages with cat bash RC examples colored man pages to my dot bash profile and then do the source bash profile again. So now if I do man history, the different parts are actually different colors now. So it's easier, easier for me to keep track of what the different parts of the file are. And if I do man grep, it's even more obvious because of the blue and the green uh, being on different parts now. And then there are some simple functions you can do. Um, for an example would be an al the way that they're done is you do alias and then whatever you want the, uh, the prompt to be for it. So alias login equals login, login, the second login being the name of the function that I want to run. And then inside it, anytime you see a dollar sign, brace, number, end brace, that's the number of the parameter that got passed to it via a command line argument. So inside of my, not that, inside of my bash examples function.txt, I have this function. Um, so 
anytime I do login, it'll take in the first argument should be my username and the second argument should be my IP address. And that's, um, it's just a redoing of SSH. You could do something more complicated, like have it cluster a bunch of commands together every time you do a single word, that sort of thing. And then this is something that I like to do. Um, this command will return a smiley face whenever the last command was successful and a frowny face whenever it fails. So I have that set up to, and I, I have a version set up on mine that will be a green happy face and a red frowny face. So I'm going to go ahead and append that to my bash RC. Bash examples face.text. That bash profile. And if I look at that bash profile, this is what it looks like. So smiley is green, happy face, normal. Frowny is red, frown face, normal. And this select is checking the return value of the last command. And if it was successful, it gets a smiley. And if it wasn't, it gets a frowny face. And right now, this isn't being used anywhere, but I have another version of my bash RC that uses select inside of it, so I'm going to go ahead and append that to my bash RC as well. So I'm going to do cat bash profile ps1 faces to my bash profile. We're going to look at that. So now my PS1 is the same as before, except it has this select here. So now there will be a frowny face or smiley face at the end of the first line of the command prompt. So I'm going to do source.bashprofile. And this green smiley face means that this was a successful command. An example of an unsuccessful command would be if I ran something that wasn't actually a command, like this nonsense. That's the end of it. So that's pretty much all you need for uh, to set up your own bash profile. I have a bash profile.txt file that's linked in the description for this video. So you can just take exactly what I just did and use it. Um, and it's the Mac version. So there is a Mac version as well as a Linux version um, that you would need to do uh, with some tweaks that have been made to um, make the colored grep and color ls work. So I hope that was informative.